Chris Hanis Killer, Yanuswalus Walus, reportedly has a support base among right-wing groups in his home country of Poland. Now, he's expected to be released on parole later this week, should his health allow. After being stabbed in prison today, we're joined by international relations consultant, Dr. Charles Singala. Dr. Singala, good evening to you. Thanks for your time. If we look at some of the messages that have particularly come out of the tripartite alliance and its partners that support the position that um, they've taken on the issue of Yanus Walus, they emphasize the fact that if he were allowed to go back to Poland, it would be to a hero's welcome to groups of people there that have effectively been standing in solidarity with him since he was incarcerated. What can you tell us about the situation in that country? Yes, uh, thank you very much, uh, Kathy, and uh, good evening to your viewers. Um, it is, of course, the will celebrate, as you, you like to mention, um, just from his incarceration, and we had Truth and Reconciliation Commission where some of the political prisoners were released. And uh, unfortunately, um, this convict was never, never released. And his families, I'm sure, they'll be very happy uh, to receive him in Poland. But the question is, uh, what is the impact on the judiciary of South Africa? Is it possible that the judiciary system has been lost as well as the political power has been lost in South Africa? Why is it that uh, there is a disconnect from all the previous uh, ministers of justice who has presided over the South African government, who has opposed uh, the release on parole uh, for the convicted killer of Kishani and all those other victims who died subsequently after the killing of their leader? And uh, why is it uh, that uh, the Zondo um, uh, Justice, uh, uh, CJ Justice Zondo has failed to connect with society uh, to look at the impact of the release and as well as to consider the family, especially the wife who is still alive. I can see and I can tell from her uh, response from the media and how she has conducted herself immediately after that uh, historic judgment of releasing a convict uh, who has been condemned by society. And, you know, the ANC as well, the in charge of this government, uh, those are issues that we have to look at. Why is it that uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa, who is the head of and in charge of the executive arms of government, uh, should have looked at uh, these types of judgment? And especially uh, when we can see other judgments are not treated uh, fairly. Indeed, like many other people have said, this is an injustice that has occurred at the hands of the justice system. Would you say that there will be an emboldening of these groups, some of those that, you know, have proudly worn T-shirts of, you know, that are brandishing Walus's face on their front out in the public to some of, uh, you know, the social gatherings, including rugby games, etc.? Do you think that they, that, that they will be emboldened? Of course, of course, to some extent, uh, you can see how the celebration. We must remember that uh, that killing of an innocent uh, citizen, a father and a family member, uh, Chris Honey uh, of his family, uh, was an intended purpose to achieve such an agenda uh, to prevent the, uh, the transition of South Africa from the apartheid route to the, uh, uh, to the multipartism of the freedom that we perceived uh, from South African point and as well as uh, from the African continent that we shall celebrate. Uh, hence, you can see that uh, Poland, you know, uh, should have uh, looked at the bilateral and international relations with South Africa and mitigate this celebration because it's a wrong impact. And I think uh, uh, the Chief Justice, before he confirms that order, he has time for himself uh, to look at the order and consider other factors. In the law, as a lawyer and as an advocate of the high courts, you know, there's various uh, types of sources of law that the judge must consider before they can make a judgment, uh, including external factors as well as the policy of the constitution of the internal matters of justice. All right, let's leave it there for tonight. International Relations Consultant, Dr. Charles Sinkala.